hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to draft and cut in princess that bustier so if this is something you're interested in keep up watching so in case you want to make a dress like this like this or like this so they are all princess that bustier so this tutorial is going to be well detailed please pay attention to what i'm about to teach you so that you will understand at the end of the day these are the materials i'm going to be using my scissors marker roller french curve my tape and my pattern paper so i'm just going to go ahead and mark a straight line across my pattern paper which is going to be serving as the starting guide then i will place my tape on that line i just marked i will mark my bust point which is 10 inches my under bust um 13 and half then my waistline is 60 inches i will just mark it like this then i'll go ahead and mark a straight line across this line i just mark okay just like this so i'll go ahead and label it bust point under bust and the waistline so i will come to this line here this bust point i will go up by two inches i will mark two inches upward i will make I will mark a straight line across which is going to be serving as my chest line so another way to get your chest line is to divide your bust by six and add 1.5 inches to that whatever you get and mark it so i will mark my shoulder measurement okay so the shoulder is 40 40 divided by 2 is going to give me seven i'll go ahead and mark seven like this so i will come down by half an inch from the shoulder I will come to the chest line i will mark several inches which is my shoulder measurement i will connect a straight line across i just want the line to be straight then i will mark the wideness of the neckline i'm working with which is three and a half inches i will come down by three and a half inches as well i'll go ahead and use my french curve oh nipper just is the light i connect the neckline like this they will connect the shoulder slope like this then i will divide my bust by four whatever i get i will mark it on my chest line like this then i'll place my tape like this on the armhole area i will fold it into two i'll mark the midpoint then from that midpoint i will go in by half an inch like this then i'll connect this point this point and these points together so i'll go ahead and use my straight ruler to connect a straight line like this then i will use my french curve to connect it down like this so if you feel like i'm too fast kind of in this video you can check out my other videos so once i was done with that i'll go ahead and impute my nipple to nipple measurements so my nipple to nipple is eight inches eight divided by two is four I'll mark four on the bust point and also on the waistline I will connect it like this just like as you can see me doing i will leave a picture on the screen on how to go about the nipple to nipple measurement i believe you just noticed that the pattern paper has changed after i was done recording cutting explaining everything so it was time for me to stop the record so that i can end it only for me to discover that my phone was not recording i was like I almost fainted like i was screaming like i didn't know what happened so i was like okay let me restart again only for me to discover that my phone memory was already full so i had to delete a lot of videos on my phone and continue the next like i didn't bother to continue that because it was painful so i gave myself like extra two days before i was able to film the continuation video i had to delete a lot of things so i will come to my center front this part here i will mark in half an inch on the waistline and also on the other bust while this other side i will mark one and a half inch then i will mark one and a half inch like this i will mark a straight line across like this i'll connect the points together then i will come to my bust point i will come down by half inch then i will use my french curve to connect a curve line like this i'll place my french curve like this i connect it to that half inch i marked then i will connect the other side like this i hope you are seeing how i am placing my french curve so i'll go ahead and blend the sharp edge i will just move the sharp edge like this and blend it together so from this point i will come up 
like from my bust point i will come up by one inch like this so i will extend the line i will extend the line then i will place my tape on the armhole area i will measure from the shoulder to the uh, chest line like this i will measure the armhole so whatever i have i will divide it by two so i have nine nine divided by two is four and a half so from the shoulder will mark four and a half on the armhole like this then from i will connect the points from that armhole to the one inch i came up with at the chest line like this i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so I'll go ahead and blend this part so that it will go straight so the next thing is to take the armhole that so i will come to the armhole like this i'll mark half inch upward i'll mark half inch downward like this so the total measurement i took is half plus half is one inch i will go ahead and connect this half inch like this to meet with the chest line then the uh, that at the up there is the half inch i will also connect it to meet with the chest line like this i'll go ahead and blend it so half plus half is one inch that one inch i need to replace it back so i will come to this line that is this that the down that's like this down the down line so i will go ahead and extend it by one inch this line here i will extend it by one inch so i'll place my tape on it and mark one inch forward like this so i will come to this point here like this that is this armhole we connected before so before i will go ahead and extend it with my french curve like this i will blend it to make it straight i will come to this point here i will extend this point by one inch as well so mark one inch i will reconnect my armhole like this then once i was done with this the next thing is i will go ahead and put my body measurement now so from this point i will input my sewing allowance which is one and a half inch we already measure our bust points before so i will come to the other bust i will divide my other bust by four which is eight inches i will mark it i will measure the dots that i took which is two inches i will replace that two inches then i will add my sewing allowance which is one and a half inch then i will come to the waistline i will divide my waist measurements by four which is eight and a half i will mark eight and a half i will replace the dot which is two inches i will replace the i will add my sewing allowance which is one and a half inch i will go ahead and connect all the points together like this so once you are done you can go ahead and cut it out but i'm about to explain something to you guys if you are making this type of peplum blouse like this type particular one this particular type of peplum blast started from the waistline you can go ahead and use this pattern but for me i want to make this particular um peplum top okay this is a princess that peplum top so the you see that the gather did not start exactly from the waistline the gather started like below the waistline so i'm going to be coming down from this pattern paper by two inches you can come down by one and a half inch if you want to but I came down by two inches like this. I'll go ahead and mark a straight line. And I'm using red marker just for you guys to know. It's still the same thing. The only difference here is the length. So you are going to determine the length of your client or for yourself. So I'll go ahead and extend the lines. All the lines, the that line, the waist, you know, all this line. I'll go ahead and extend it like this. Then once I was done, we'll just go ahead and cut it out. I hope you guys understand what I just said. So please watch out the part I'm cutting out so that you don't miss you don't go ahead and cut out other parts okay so i've gone ahead to cut it out and this is how it look like okay so the next thing is to cut the back so I'll go ahead and mark, like I will mark a straight line across like this for the starting guide. I will mark one inch like this for the zipper allowance of my pattern paper. So just go ahead and mark a zipper allowance. Then I will place this front part like this on it like this. I will mark the neckline. I will mark this, Um, I will just mark, I will just mark at all the points like this. Then I will use my ruler to extend it. I'll mark out all the points like this from the shoulder everything as you can see i will go ahead and extend it 
so if you don't want to mark yours like this you can just go ahead and retake your back measurement fine but for me to make everything accurate i will just go ahead and stand on the lens like this then i'll, I'll label it chest line bust points under bust and waistline or top length so i'm making use of this last one too so this is the normal waistline if you want to use this you can go ahead and use this but i'm using the one i showed you guys at the front so for the back neckline i will come down by one inch like this then i will connect it like this i will extend it to the zipper allowance at the back like this using my straight ruler i will mark my armhole i will connect my armhole the back is simply easy you understand i will connect my armhole for the back then i will mark my nipple to nipple measurement starting from the zipper allowance so so i will connect it from my bust points to the waistline i will connect it like this then i will come to the down i will mark half inch inward and half inch outward for the dart i will connect the slant line from the bust points to that half inch i marked like this so this is going to be serving as the dart then i will go ahead and extend this line here i will go in by half an inch to remove zipper parking I do this a lot on my tutorials so just go and watch my other tutorials in case you don't understand this i will place my ruler and mark a slant line upward it's going to end somewhere so I'll go ahead and mark the part i'm going to be cutting at i will cut out this part i hope you guys understand what i just did i will cut out this part as well so i'll go ahead and cut it out and guys before cutting it out please add your body measurement i actually forgot before I will add my bust point, my under bust, my waistline measurements. I will add my sewing allowance and also the dart allowance. I'll go ahead and connect it and cut it out. So I have a basic body um, pattern drafting on my channel. Go and watch it in case you don't understand this one. So I'll place it on my fabric and cut it out like this. I will add half an inch on the neckline and also the shoulder for joining allowance. I will pin the front like this. I will add half an inch at the side like this to join this part and the other parts together. So I'll go ahead and add half an inch at the side, then half an inch at the shoulder and also the neckline for joining allowance. So guys, if you are still watching me to this extent and you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, turn on post notification if you want to see more on this channel. And please like this video and comment. This really helps my algorithm a lot. Even if it's your favorite emoji, comment it. And if you have any question, feel free to ask me. I will definitely respond to you. You can follow me up on Instagram at Official Promoted Sandra and also on TikTok at Promoted Sandra or Facebook Promoted Sandra. So I've gone ahead to cut it and this is how it looks like at end of the day so my next video is going to be the sewing tutorial please do it to subscribe and watch out for the sewing tutorial bye